Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and we're here with Jake and his boys from How To Alaska, and we're here in the Arctic wilderness of Alaska, and we're going to be doing some awesome camping. We're going to go ice fishing. We're going to camp in a hot tent. We're going to hunt muskrats. We're going to blow up tons of fireworks. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah! Oh, we're in it now. Check it out how beautiful this is. We got the Matanuska River right over there, but uh, somewhere over there is a lake that we're gonna go camp on, and uh, we're gonna take the snow machines across the ice. Should be plenty thick, but you can see where there's overflow. Because there's moving water under the ice, it pops up in weird places and causes overflow. So we're gonna try to keep our snow machines on the dry side. Hey, Nathan, you enjoy the snow machines? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, look. Come on, Nate, let's go. tracks all over the place. This is his tracks right here. Look at these, they're all snowshoe hair tracks. That's real fresh. There's rabbit poop. All right guys, let's go. Let's go back to the snow machines. Well, that was a fun little distraction, but I think we're gonna keep going. kind and volunteered to go and check to make sure the ice was safe. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. This looks like a gorgeous spot. I think we should go camping. Hey, check it out. There's an otter slide. See, you can see where the otter's been sliding down on his belly into the water. Yeah, there's a little bit of fish and poo. There's a spring comes in right here, so that's where there's open water. So that's how they get in under the ice and they fish and they pull themselves up. Yep. Never wanted to say anything. Oh yeah. If you're focused on one, you'll do You guys starting a fire over here? Let me let me give you a little help here. Cotton balls with Vaseline, that's what you want, man. Put that thing right under there. Oh, you're good. Wait, that was yeah. Yeah, it's it's good and it'll burn for a while because of the Vaseline. You better get some more wood on top of that. No, oh, poor Nathan. We get out of here and he starts complaining about his feet being cold. I'm like, why? You have a pair of negative 60 boots. I look over and he's not wearing his boots. He's wearing his rain boots. And it's about 10 degrees outside. So we have got to get him warm. Okay. So I've got some hand warmers here. Okay. And you're, I'm going to put his camping booties on. And I'm going to get him in a sleeping bag with some hand warmers. Slide down inside down, okay? Would you like to watch a show while you warm up? Sit down on the thing and take your boots off. Get in as deep as you can. I can zip you up, okay? You just stay there and get warm for a second. I need to put the stove together. Then you'll be a lot warmer.
All right, we got a roaring fire in here and it feels amazing. My hands were getting so cold trying to roll that, that titanium. There we go. Stick your boots here by the fire. Oh, it is so warming up in here. Oh, you caught one. Look at that pretty little trout right there. Woo. Well, while I'm inside fussing with the stove, Jake brought firewood and Cody caught a little trout. Look at that. <laughs> little dinner there. Cooking up those little salmon? Yep. Uh, look at that little guy. Woo! Oh, my glass is fogged up. Let's Come on in. Oh. You can feel the oh. heat already. Oh. Nathan, you awake? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got, I got the phone though. Take it out in here, it's nice. I think Nathan has been pouring liquid nitrogen into his boots. These are the coldest boots in the world. So we are going to sit him Sit them here by the stove in the hopes that they may warm up here. Who's next? Mm -hmm. ah, we're not the and then you come out, but the stove has melted enough to fill up the lake. Then the lake. Isn't that just entertaining? I absolutely love these lights. This is a bicycle light that comes with a GoPro mount and these battery packs that you strap to your bicycle frame. And instead, I just hook them up to my tripods or my other GoPro mounts. It will run about 12 to 16 hours on the low setting, or at 1,000 lumens, it'll last about four to six hours. These are awesome for portable work lights. There you go. Oh, no, Billy black hole. Oh, catch and release. Oh, I could see them down there. Yeah, they're going nuts. I think they like that light. That black hole. There you go. Let's get this fire up and going, and I'm gonna get some dinner cooking here. Like that. Yeah. Keep the... All right, let's get some dinner going. I have a bunch of short pork ribs here, soaking in bubogi sauce. And we've got a bunch of fajita vegetables and tortillas. So we're gonna be making a little Korean uh, Tex-Mex fusion here with bubogi fajitas. So this is my ice fishing chisel. I forged it before we came up on this trip. And it's got a chisel on one end and a scoop on the other, but it works good for a lot of things. I got a knife. Five, probably. I don't. I got in it. go. Yeah, it's already froze. Little bubogi sauce on everything. That's gonna be the. I've got an idea. There we go, Korean bubogi pork rib fajitas. <laughs> oh, that's good. They're kind of sweet instead of spicy. Mm. Like that? Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Best Korean fajitas you've ever had? Mm hmm. <laughs> Hey Nathan, what do you think? You like your fajita? Yeah. Good. All right guys, we got some fajitas in our belly. I think it's time to shoot off some fireworks. What do you think? Yeah! There we go, got a little berm. So if the fireworks fall backwards, they won't shoot it back towards us. Wait, that's full of fireworks? This is just fireworks. I was like, what? Oh, you didn't buy many those are the fireworks. Good ones. I, Daddy, I, I literally oh. thought. Oh. Got three packs oh, of Roman fun. candles. No, no, everybody over, everybody. All just right, here you go. That was pretty sweet. We're talking serious here. Holy <laughs> mackerel. I feel like this can ward off invading armies. Yeah, it's cold out here. This is awesome, yeah. Hey, look. Hey.
That was awesome! Was that cool? Yeah! Ah. yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Are you okay there? Yeah, I'm fine. We got a thousand firecrackers here. Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! You, got, you guys want to all light up Roman candles? Here, everyone grab one. We're going to run around the lake real quick and set a bunch of muskrat traps tonight. See if we can't maybe catch and eat a muskrat later on. There we go. You've set a few of these, huh? It's on my fingers, too. This right here is a cotton bear trap. Muskrat goes through, boink, and it gets him. Yeah, I, I had a double spring cotton bear 110, and I caught it my fingers in it once. Got a bucket full of cotton bear traps. We're gonna go get it some muskrat. So right here, we have a muskrat feed hut. Yeah, look at that. It's just like a big pile of grass that they've stuck in the ice. So if you're ever in a survival situation, you could always ice fish through these. Oh, look at that. Yeah. As they get up in this tube, yeah. and then they kind of get on this shelf, and then they eat their food outside of the water where they can have a breathing hole. Oh, that's a good sign. You see that? Bubbling. Bubbling. Camping it. Good. I don't think it's going to snow tonight, so I... Okay, now... All right, Nate, hop on, bud. You can't remember how it goes, but... It... Oh! Oh, you see that? Yeah, yeah except I will fall through. They're yeah. coming in this way, and then they're sitting on their little ledge over there. Yeah. Let's do this. Be a tough catch here, but. Oh, you guys had a good time, didn't you? Yeah, we, I just had a bomb. Well, we just got back from setting the muskrat traps, and the temperature has dropped to negative eight, or about negative 22 Celsius. It's nippy, guys, and it's getting colder. frozen marshmallows. Luke, put your boots down. Look at that sucker. Is that, did you even cook that? Yeah. Not even brown on the outside. <laughs> I think you just ate a frozen marshmallow. You know, I, have, I gave you a perfectly good stick. <laughs> I gotta get my boys out of here. That's yours. More trustable. <laughs> Well, Jake and his boys just left to go home and sleep in their warm beds. <laughs> so it's uh, just us out here tonight. Why don't you sit here by the fire and stay warm, and I'm gonna go in and get your bags already, okay? Real easy. Well, I got the door of the stove facing towards my bag, and I've got a pile of wood within arm's reach, but uh, I don't know how much I'm actually gonna use the stove in the middle of the night. I just don't know if I wanna be stoking it all night. We can see here inside the tent on the floor, it's about 22 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 25. And if you look at it on the walls, you can see there's frost on the inside of the walls below about here. So from about here below is 32 degrees, and the higher up you go in the tent, the warmer it gets until it feels like 70 degrees up here. Okay. Okay, all right, Tom, sit down on the buffalo hide. I'm putting on these down booties, to try to keep my feet warm in my sleeping bag. All right, guys, it's pretty late. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. We'll see how this goes. Well, guys, we survived the night. And look who's up. Hey Tom, you were nice and warm? Mm -hmm. How about you, Nate? Yeah. Look at all the snow on your mat. 
See from the from the frost on the tent. It was a little bit of a rough night last night. Uh, around midnight, Tommy sits bolt upright in his sleeping bag and starts screaming his head off. <laughs> By the time I get him down, Nathan's screaming and crying. It took me forever to wake him up. I had to pull him out of his sleeping bag and pat frost on his face to get him to wake up and stop screaming. And then Tommy started screaming again. Ah! Yeah, about, about an hour and a half later, we got everyone to stop screaming and stay asleep. I did not scream. Yeah, you totally did. Twice. Well, I wasn't planning to, but I kept the stove going all night. About every two hours, it would start to get a little cold in here and I would kind of wake up and I'd reach over and grab a log from the log pile and throw it in there and I'd go back to sleep and about two hours later that would happen. And But yeah, we kept it, kept it warm all night long. Now it's going pretty good. It's pretty toasty right now. We're killing some time till the sun comes up. We're just going to watch some battle bots on our phone. All right, we're... Almost 32 degrees, so right hovering around freezing inside the tent. So that feels warm. <laughs> Look how covered in frost my overalls are. Oh, these pants are cold. Look at this, it is cold out. Not a cloud in the sky. When the temperature drops, all the clouds fall out. Outside the tent, it's negative 16 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 26 Celsius. Ooh, it's cold today. Man, we better get a fire started out here. Well, welcome back. Yeah. All right, Cody, you want to go out and do some ice fishing? Let me get this open for you. This is the Alaskan fish finder right here. Stick your face in the hole and see the fish. It works. You can see them down there. Oh, Cody, what do you got there? Look at that beautiful Dolly Varden right there. Nice. One of the creepiest things about camping on frozen lakes is that the ice moves and it cracks. It's like plate tectonics on the ice. And last night we had a couple really big cracks where we're sitting in our sleeping bag and all of a sudden, boo! You can hear the, the ice move and groan underneath us. Wake up this morning and look at this crack. Right past the tent. I mean, they're harmless. It's not like you're gonna fall into the ice. It's 18 inches of ice, but it wakes you up and freaks you out. <laughs> All right, Jake's run off to go grab another dead tree and I'm gonna start chopping some wood, get this fire going. Snow machine tag. That's a lot of wood. We got a bag of scotch eggs and I've mostly cooked them up already. So we just need to heat them. I've sold your chair. Yeah, Car caribou sausage right there, folks. Can I have a caribou sausage? Here, Tom, why don't you try some caribou sausage? This is what the caribou Cody shot. I love it. That's, it's good. That could be in a movie. There you go, scotch eggs. You got a hard boiled egg covered in pork sausage and deep fried with panko. Oh, it's one of the most delicious things ever when it's warm. I did a video on how to make campfire scotch eggs as part of my 23 campfire recipes video and I'll put a link in the description to that video. Definitely check it out. These are delicious. So, so you know, like there's a difference between the right and you're like, what? Look out. Who wants to warm up? You know. They look out for the You like that, Nate? Well, both the boys are sitting on the snow machines making no engine noises. I think it's a sign that they really want to go out on the snow machine. All right, I think we're going to go check out those muskrat traps. No. No. Nothing there. 
Nope. All right. No, we're gonna cover it up so we don't kill them all. Oh, look at a little weed in it. We definitely had muskrat action there. Runs it out, we got one more. Ooh, yep. First, I hope we get one. Nope. No! Well, we didn't get to eat any muskrats, but that was still pretty cool. Well, I think we're gonna start heading back to camp and breaking down camp here in a little bit. We got a long way to go to get home. Oh, all right. I'll tell you what, this tent's been a good little tent for us. I'm actually really pleased with it. It's super light. It only weighs about four pounds for the tent and the stove. The stove's made out of titanium and it like weighs less than a book. But uh, it's a seek outside four man teepee hot tent. And I'll put a link in the description to it. But I need to start packing it up and getting ready to go because uh, we're going to run out of daylight here in a little bit. I'll just... We've been hearing more of those big cracks in the ice and look at it. One of them runs right through my snake in the center of my tent. Probably the heat from the tent expanded the ice and made it crack right in the spot. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you guys want to see more camping adventures from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And check out our camping adventure playlist with all of our best camping videos. Click subscribe! Nailed it! And don't forget to check out Jake's YouTube channel, How To Alaska. I'll put a link in the description to their stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.